20 of Oxfordshire's 43 libraries scheduled for closure, communities around the county have come together in protest. But are these cuts really necessary and how will they affect Oxford's already struggling education system? The County Council suggests that the Big Society will be able to provide the services it cuts, but with seven of the 20 closures in Oxford, including Blackbird Lees, Littlemore and Headington, which serve some of the poorest areas in the county, questions are being raised over the number of willing and able volunteers. At the Friends of Berry Knoll Library meeting, Gemma Fowler, a teacher at Bayard Hill in Barton, read a letter written by her Year 5 pupils highlighting what the cuts meant to them. In school, our teachers set us homework projects linked to the topics we're studying. Many of us don't have books at home, and even fewer of us have the internet at home. And we use the library to do our research. I went to speak to Gemma to find out what had motivated the letter. To school, and we were having a discussion about it, and they suggest they'd like to write another letter to the councillors saying, if this facility goes, we are going to be impacted. If learning is so important and reading is meant to be improving, then why is this being taken away from us? We're going to be the greatest affected. The Central Anti-Cuts meeting drew support from some of Oxford's well-known authors. What I personally hate about this bidding culture is that it sets one community, one group, yeah. one school yeah. against another. This is an old battle. Uh, but it's um, uh, a new campaign, and um, you know, old war horses like me uh, just you know flare their nostrils and start to rear up when we hear these things. And good luck to you all. This is the difficulty of talking about this. Right? You can't tell by looking at a class of children which one at this moment is ready for that particular book. Um, a good librarian will, because a good librarian will know the books and know the children, and that's why libraries aren't just the books on the shelves in a room. They're also the mind and the experience and the knowledge of the librarian who's in charge of them. If those things are cut, they're very, very difficult to replace. Elsewhere in the county, one of the threatened libraries will have a more direct effect on local schools. It's got to be remembered, while this is Langtree Secondary School's library as well as our public library, we have a primary school and two preschools over on the same site, similar sites, and uh, they use the library weekly. I put some of these issues to Keith Mitchell, leader of Oxfordshire County Council. So why has the library service been put up for the proposed cuts? We've got to take £58 million out of our budget this year. We've exempted two areas only. One is the fire and rescue service and the second one is um, safeguarding children, the baby Peter case. Apart from that we felt we had to share the cost of the cuts right across the council. Do you feel that the big society option is a workable alternative? It has to be. It's the only option. We can't afford to run 43 libraries, so we have to look to communities to provide support where we can't. With Oxford's recent Key Stage 1 and GCSE results, do you feel that the closure of the library services is going to have a knock-on effect on education? This does worry me, and I'm particularly concerned that every single school we have has a library in it. And I want to understand why we can't improve the library service in the schools to make sure it provides recreational reading as well as educational reading. With the Council's hardline stance on the proposed cuts, it seems that the community's efforts may be in vain. However, with the mass protest on the 12th of February and the Council's vote coming on the 15th, only time will tell how this story will play out. I'm Jamie Keane for Brooks TV.